You've already set up Greylog. Now let's take it to the next level. Today I'll show you how to collect Linux and Docker logs, create dashboards and configure alerts in Greylog 6.3. As always, the docs are linked in the description. Before we start collecting logs, we need to set up the inputs in Greylog. Go to System, then Inputs. In the drop-down, select Syslog UDP and click Launch New Input. Set the title to syslog udp 415, the bind address to 0.0.0.0 .0 and the port to 515. I will also check the storefull message box. Save it and click setup input. Click on create stream and give it the title syslog. Then hit next and start input. If port 515 isn't available, use 1514 instead and update your LSYS log configuration later to match. Next, add another input for Docker. Choose GALF UDP from the dropdown, click launch new input and set the title to GALF UDP 12201. Use the same bind address and put 12201. Then click save and set up input. Here we will also create a stream and call it docker logs. Now Greylog is ready to receive both system and container logs. We'll start with Linux logs. On your Linux host, create a conf file under etc rsyslog.d and add the following line. Then restart Arsys log. If your input runs on port 1514 instead, update the config and restart again. Back in Greylog, open search and confirm messages appear. To make things easier later, we'll extract the SSH username and source IP from failed login messages. In Greylog, go to System, Inputs, Syslog UDP, Manage Extractors. Then create extractor. Then on the message field, we create a regex extractor. First, we create an extractor for the SSH user and second for the SSH source IP. Back and search, open a failed SSH message and confirm you now see SSH user and SSH source IP as fields. Next, let's add Docker container logs. In your Docker Compose file, use the GALF logging driver and point it to your Greylog server on UDP port 12.201. Restart your containers. In Greylog, make sure the GALF UDP input is running and you should see your container logs in search. Now that we have both Linux and Docker logs, it's time to visualize them. Create a new dashboard called Overview. Add your first widget, a line chart showing failed SSH logins over time. Use the query failed password or invalid user on your syslog stream. Set the metric to count and group by timestamp. Set the visualization type to line chart. Then create a bar chart of the top source IPs. That's where your SSH extractors come in handy. Mm -hmm. 
add another panel for top container that errors and one more for systemd service restarts. Adjust the layout and save your dashboard. Next, let's make Qualog proactive. Under Alerts, create an event definition for SSH push for spikes. We set the search query and select our syslog stream. Select aggregation of result reaches a threshold and set your threshold condition. If you want, you can set the notification type you want and then save the event. I try to log in with the wrong password and you see an alarm gets created. And that's it. Linux and Docker logs collected, dashboards built, alerts configured. You now have full visibility across your environment in Craylog 6.3. If you found this useful, give it a like, subscribe and check the description for configuration snippets and related guides.